Hi everyone, welcome to the How Your Employee Lecture. In this lecture, I will be showing you how to create a brand new employee record in Oracle eBusiness. Okay, so to hire an employee, you must first have access to the Enter and Maintain menu under the HR Responsibility. Before beginning the hire process, we will need to ensure the system is day tracked to the correct date. Day tracking is important throughout many HR processes and especially important for new employee hires. And since we are hiring a brand new employee, the date we will need to be day tracked to would naturally be the employee's hire date with the organization. So to day track, select the calendar icon from the top toolbar. And enter the date you want to day track to into the effective date and select OK. I'm a little behind in my data entry for the pay period as per usual, so I need to day track back to February 7th for my new hire. Okay, day tracking check, and let's begin by selecting the new button, which opens up a brand new person form. To initiate the hire, select the action field on the top right of the form. In this case, we are hiring an employee and therefore we will need to select the Create Employment Action. When selected, the person type list of values will automatically appear. This list of person types will likely look different from organization to organization, as this list can be modified to your organization's requirements. The employee person type is pretty much consistently used across different organizations. However, if it is not available to you, please select the appropriate employee equivalent person type in your organization. When selected, the employee person type is populated in the identification field. Once all the desired fields are entered for the employee record, go ahead and save the record. As you can see, an employee number is auto-generated once the save is complete. Essentially, once an employee number is generated, the employee hire is complete. Now you will notice that I did not go over any of the fields on the person form, and that is because an overview of each field is provided under the Introduction to Person Form lecture. If you want to know more about each field on this form, then join me in that lecture too. Anyways, that's it for now, and we shall chat again in the next one.